to add points to them. Quickly here I'll add a point into the star. You can see that little red circle that shows up there. It shows me that it's going to connect in to the line on that star. I quickly added a few points into this shape. I'm going to translate these points out with the translate tool and quickly create and edit this shape. I can't edit along that line right there without adding more points. Those points were curved points. I select sharp corners up in the toolbar and I click in there and you can see that's got a hard corner on there. And here with sharp corners deselected it rounds off between those points. There I'm adding points into an existing shape. And now here I'm going to just create a new shape with the tool. And I click drag and I click drag and then I've created this little bean shape. And it auto filled here because up in the toolbar I have auto fill selected. The auto fill utilizes styles I had selected up in the style window. The fill color to be particular. Keep in mind you'll have to be at frame zero to draw and edit all of these shapes. And you'll want to put in enough points to distort and animate as needed. The auto weld feature up in the toolbar here is what gives you that little green circle there that connects these points together to make a shape. So if I deselect it and try to create a shape, you'll see I've just created a curve but it's, it won't fill because there's no solid shape that is connected. Another thing you might find handy with the add points tool is uh, clicking and dragging when you add that point in to distort that shape and edit the shape as you're drawing. So you could rough out a shape and uh, like we do with the star and then keep adding points and, and eventually build a, a character or a figure out of it if you so desired.